Everything okay with the shuttle? Just double checking the inertia dampener coils. It can be twitchy in these UT 47s. But don't worry, this bird's been rock solid. I always see you down here working your ass off. Ever take any downtime? I get my sleep, Commander. Flying tired is nearly worse than flying drunk. What about your waking hours? Any R&R? &R? I need to keep myself busy. Otherwise, well, too much time to think. I appreciate your dedication, but I don't want to see you burn out. I know my limits. I wouldn't take a chance with your life. So before this war, you must have done something to relax. Sure. I remember back when the Hawking was based out of Arcturus and I was just a fighter jock. There was this observation deck overlooking the main flight paths. You could watch every ship taxi in and out. When I was alone, I'd turn off the auditory emulators and just watch them drift by in silence. You know the reviews like that on the Citadel. Next time we're there, you should take some shore leave. Clear your head. I don't know. Maybe. Take some time off on the Citadel, Steve. As a favor to me. I find it very hard to say no to you, Shepard. As it should be. Loco! You see that Krogan female? Huh? 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 Up close and personal. I think the male's got the pretty gene. You mentioned a mission you had against the Collectors. What happened? Pretty much what I said. Things went foobar and I was one of the few to make it up. If you want the rest of the story, you're gonna have to get me really drunk, or... Or what? That's about it. Sorry, Commander. Just not interested in talking about that. Next topic? You had a hard time leaving Earth. You still want to head back? Hell yeah. But I get it now. It's not where I'd be most useful. Not yet, anyway. We'll get back there. I know. And I'll do whatever it takes to get us there, Commander. Maybe no more shuttle crashes. No promises now that I've gotten the taste for it. Besides, I like to keep Esteban on his toes. You got family back on Earth? Yeah, an uncle. Retired military. Got a few cousins I haven't heard from in a while. You and your uncle close? Yeah. He was the reason I joined the Marines and was about the only good thing in my life after my mom died. No dad? He's there. Somewhere. But I'm not sure I'd call him family. Not anymore. I would like to find out how my uncle's doing, though. What's with you and the nicknames? It's just my way of remembering people. Some people just don't match their names, you know? So, I just give them a new one. So, I'm a loco, huh? Yeah. I mean, I'm pretty crazy, but the shit you've done? <laughs> makes me look sane. I take it you and Lieutenant Cortez know each other. Yeah, Esteban did a stint on Fell Prime where me and my squad were stationed. I caught up with him on Earth a few months back. He's a good guy. Just don't tell him I said so. It'd go to his head. I'll talk to you later. You bet. You're saying they survived into this cycle? Yes. We called them Collectors. They fought for the Reapers. For a long time, no one knew they were Prothean. And when did you realize? Shepard had no choice but to kill the ones he encountered. They were all indoctrinated, and had been for a long time. I'm sorry. I am grateful. It was an act of mercy. Yes. I suppose it was. Did I mention Salarians used to lick their eyes? How far they have come. The Morden Salarian asked if he could dissect me. I approved, but only if he could defeat me in combat first. His reply was problematic. Then he left. I do not understand that one. So, Gabi, have you seen Edie's new book? Commander, thank you. It's great, Commander. 
feels good to be in an Alliance uniform again. Welcome aboard, Chief. You don't like it? Don't download it. You're saying we don't need Terra Nova. Lose one colony, save five. That's the math. You know what the commander did for us? The colony? Yes. It was on a little thing called the news. You think you can fly on this ship, sit next to us at chow time, and then broadcast something like that? That's traitorous. Hey, it's just an opinion piece. You don't like it? Don't download it. You're saying we don't need Terra Nova. Lose one colony, save... Lose the peace, or lose your spot on this ship, Allers. This is exactly what I was afraid of. Thanks, Commander. What's your choice, Allers? Like you said, it's just your opinion, right? I'll pull it. will work, Rex. We just need to finish building the Crucible. Although I'd be interested to learn how you found out about it. Wasn't that hard. Lucky you keep its location more secret than the fact it exists. And I'm sure you'll do a good job of both, being so famous for your discretion. <laughs> My lips are sealed. Hello again, Shepard. How much do you know about this Prothean artifact? Very little. We're fortunate enough data survived to piece together the blueprints. Decoding them will require as many specialists as we can find. It's that high-tech? I'd have killed for a glimpse of it during graduate school. You brought your little helper with you? Its name is Glyph. It helped sort through all the data that led me to the Archive on Mars. It was a pleasure to be of assistance, Doctor. Glyph's interfaced with the data feeds. Its analytical software should come in handy. What's been happening with you as the broker, Liara? It's been... exciting. The old broker's ship? Impressive, but it was never meant to be space-worthy. Which meant the elusive man eventually tracked me down on Hagalaz. What happened? I knew he was coming. Ferran and I loaded as much of the ship's specialized hardware onto a shuttle as we could. We got away from Cerberus's ships after arranging an appropriate distraction. What kind of distraction? Sending the broker's ship exploding into a Cerberus cruiser. I don't think the elusive man expected me to give up my resources in such a spectacular fashion. Can you still operate as the broker without the ship? Well, I couldn't let the elusive man have it. I saved what was crucial. My network of agents is intact, although the Reapers have taken a toll on their numbers. It's taking a while to re-establish contact. So where is Farron if you two escaped? He convinced me he was recovered enough to work, and I do need more agents. Agent Farron didn't report any injuries during his last call to you, Doctor. True. Given what he survived, I should probably worry less. What have you been up to since we last saw each other? Since you helped me defeat the Shadow Broker, I started looking for defenses against the Reapers. The Protheans were the only ones with substantial information on them. The older civilizations barely had records. I knew the elusive man was hunting for the same thing when our agents began crossing paths. Like on Mars? I thought I'd covered my tracks, but he had surveillance there all along. We'll talk later, Liara. Of course.
Greetings, Commander. Shepard, they say female Krogan have a thing for guys with scars. So I've heard. I've got a few, myself. Here's hoping nobody's planning an arranged marriage to cement this deal. Though I have to say, I admire Eve. The things she must have endured living with the genophage. And now, to top it all off, she's her people's last hope. Imagine the pressure. It takes real courage to face that. I hope we can measure up. Aware Krogan females find scars attractive. Garrus loyal, reasonably intelligent, bit aggressive, almost like Krogan. For the third time, Doctor, I'm not interested. Ah, Shepard, we were just... Are you okay? I'm fine, Rex. You can relax. Can't be too careful, or put any faith in Solarian doctors. This one is different. Is he? What's that? Simple blood test. What kind? Kind that ends the genophage. Shepard, please. Distraction's counterproductive, also affecting comfort of patient. He was your inside source, Rex. You can trust him. Salarians have minds like a maze. You never know when they're leading you into a trap. Trap? Eve's release my doing. Would never have known about her if not for me. That was then. But she's out now. And if she gets hurt, I'll feel it. Understand. But my patient, my responsibility, her welfare a priority, will not allow her to be compromised by anyone. <laughs> you got a quad, Doctor. Keep her safe. Our females have endured enough. Don't forget, still need your tissue sample. I'll be back. Common phobia. Fear of needles. Or Solarian doctors. Now have work to do. Prefer females of the species. Maybe with an. Thank you for saving my life, Commander. I didn't think the Krogan had any allies left in the galaxy. We owe a lot to you, even if most people have forgotten that. They can be forgiven. Our actions have hardly inspired friendship. Part of being friends is knowing each other's name. I feel bad that I don't know yours. I surrendered it the day I became a shaman of the female clan. I belong to my sisters now. But perhaps one day, when this is over, you can know it. I didn't realize the Krogan had female shamans. Wisdom comes from pain, and the genophage has made us very wise. Rather than surrender to despair, a few of us chose to preserve the ancient ways. We safeguard our culture, our knowledge, our secrets. So when our children live again, the Krogan will flourish. How were you initiated? You're locked in a cave for seven days with just enough food to last. On the eighth, you'll starve. What does that prove? Your resolve. Every acolyte is given a chance. You either claw your way out through the rock with your bare hands, or you die. How did you make it out alive? I started digging the wrong way. I was in complete darkness. Nothing other than my own heartbeat to sustain me. What happened? I found this. A simple crystal, but it became my chisel. Take it as a reminder, Commander. 
In the darkest hour, there is always a way out. That's a brutal initiation. But an illuminating one. You learn to appreciate the light by living in the dark. What do you think of Rex? When he's not trying to sire half of Tachanka, he's the best thing that's happened to the Krogan. But I won't tell him that. His head's big enough already. <laughs> Literally. He's turned into a strong leader. I know in his heart Rex wants what's best for us. Though not all the other clans see it that way. Why would the other clans give Rex trouble? You'd think they'd want a better future. It's not in the nature of our males to cooperate. They've evolved to be selfish. Their only concern is survival. Rex is different. He's a mutant. And that you can tell him. Do you think Rex will want revenge for the Genophage? Some clans will expect it, but I hope Rex resists. He understands the cycle of violence must end if Krogan are ever to have a voice in galactic politics. Still, he's just one Krogan. If enough clans demand it, he may not be able to stop them. If you don't mind me asking, what's it been like living with the Genophage? I knew sisters who couldn't bear the shame of being infertile. They would wander off into the wastelands, hoping a Thresher Maw would kill them and end their torment. Did the thought ever cross your mind? Yes. After my first stillborn. What kept you from ending your own life? When my child didn't draw breath, that's when my life truly began. The Genophage forces us to live on hope alone. There is nothing else. There is no reason to exist other than the hope that the next day will bring change. And if it doesn't, there is always the next. How do you think things will change after the Genophage is cured? Our species will find its balance again. Females will help shape the future, like in the ancient days, before we were just pawns of power-hungry males. Most seem hell-bent on shooting anything that looks at them wrong. What else is there for them to do? Because of the Genophage, they become wandering killers, seeking targets to justify their existence, excuses to earn them honor. How did you get involved in Malin's experiments? The other females and I volunteered. We heard Malin was trying to cure the Genophage for Clan Werelock. Aren't they a rival clan? Rivalries are the invention of the males. Under their rule, Tachanka has laid in ruins for over a thousand years. It's time females took back our place in society and resurrected our future. Malin was our best hope. Would you go to Malin again? Absolutely. It only takes one candle to light a fire, and then the darkness is no more. I'm sorry none of the other females survived. I know. The youngest one, Kern, was the last to go. But she knew she would enter the void free of this curse, and then smile when she looked down upon the children of Tachanka. Her spirit will be the midwife to my firstborn. I found Malin's lab. It looked like a dungeon. His experiments were brutal. We learned that too late. He meant well, but his methods grew more barbaric as he went. We finally escaped into the rubble. Eventually, a Salarian team found us. They saved our lives. We were so sick. How has Morden been treating you? Better than Krogan males do. He's not like a typical Salarian. No, no, no. Organ redundancy results in new period before metaphase. Can't alter that. Damage to telomeres, premature aging. He does that. But I sense pain in him, too. He told me about his work on the Genophage. I should consider him an enemy. Yet I think seeing my sisters and I changed something in him. Asari Borgia offspring have an allergy to dairy and... Well, it wasn't his ear. Thanks for talking to me. It's my pleasure, Commander. I've only met a few humans in my time. I'm glad for the opportunity. Shepard, blood work complete. Indicates significant stress on Eve's system. Malin's data thorough. Fortunately detailed as well. Have used notes to improve her condition. Have you determined why she's immune? 
Genophage targeted hormone production during pregnancy. Modification project used same modality. Her immunity, totally different. Targeted glands now obsolete, like human appendix. Other glands mutated to produce proper hormones, enable viable birth. Also explains her weakness. Gland substitution, imperfect, health trouble. You think you can make this work for all Krogan? Yes. We'll use Eve's tissue to produce mutagen, alter gland function across entire species. Must improve mutagen as well, tune hormone production, long-term illness for all Krogan otherwise. So, we did the right thing by saving the data? Indeed. Would be much harder to treat Eve without it. Maybe impossible. And all those experiments we saw back on Tachunka? Monstrous, repulsive, but now with purpose. Victims didn't die for nothing. So the end justifies the means? Not my means. But you're using the data. Encouraging more experiments like Malin's. Encouragement irrelevant. Will always be scientists willing to perform unethical tests. Can't change that. But can help Eve. Can cure Genophage. Won't ignore data vital to her survival because of unethical origins. Any word on Malin himself? No. Ordered teams to search for him when trying to help Eve. Nothing so far. Large galaxy. Lots of places to hide. Could already be dead for all we know. Would kill him now, if possible. Unless he could help. How is she doing? No fever currently. Heart rate elevated. Likely stress. Eating appropriately. Could use another blanket. Something soft. Prefer to let her recover fully before synthesizing cure. My medical recommendation. My people don't have time for that. Her opinion, somewhat different. You care about her? My patient. My responsibility. Found her at STG base. Three doctors injured trying to restrain her. Undid arm restraints. Didn't resist when she grabbed me. Promised to help her. She said, please. You've always defended your genophage work. What changed your mind? Never changed mind. Genophage proper decision at time. New circumstances necessitate course correction. Those circumstances being? Reaper invasion. Turians doomed without Krogan support. Krogan need unified threat, outlet for aggression, cooperative symbiosis. Nothing else? No personal stake here? Getting old, Shepard. Not many years left. But still best candidate for project. Few Solarian scientists interested in genophage. None with my expertise. Had to be me. Someone else might have gotten it wrong? Possibly. Stakes too high for an experience. But not about them. My work. My job to put it right, to prove I can. Nice talking with you, Morden. Thank you, Shepard. Glad to be back. You planning to stick around when this is over? Until Reaper's dealt with, at least. Then, not sure. Have made impact on Galaxy. Genophage modification, genophage cure, work against collectors, decisions, mistakes. Might go somewhere sunny, sit on beach, look at ocean, collect seashells. You'd go crazy inside an hour. Might run tests on the seashells. <laughs>